this is the FS setup. Let me let me complete. Yeah, I think your doubt will clear. Let me explain this. One. This is yes. FS item. These FS items we are using for group reporting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That then we it. have. Yeah. Okay. Then we have GL accounts. Okay. That will be as per each legal entity, right? Yes. Like in a finance, it's like a company code. So company code they using the GL and yeah, this is the GL account. Okay. So here we are mapping GL account. This is our chart of accounts. If I said chart of accounts, this one. Okay. Is this from your company the, from the project? No, no, this is standard template. Okay. SAP is provided this one. Okay. Okay. So the, the template which we just download is this the one? Or? No, that is different. That is only for FS items template. Okay. Okay okay this is where we are mapping gl account to fs items these gl accounts is from fi gl accounts okay these gl accounts we are mapping to group reporting fs items so this is not the master data this is fs item mapping is different than that. correct yeah, yeah we oh. call it all this also is master data fs item also is master data this also is master data all these activities we are doing in master data is related to master oh, okay. data okay so you're merging the two different templates yeah? Mm, yeah yeah or you just download the fs item and it will come with this this template yeah so oh, this no perfect, perfect. this yeah fs yeah and fi no fi system each there we have a, a account group right yeah uh, yeah Sorry. account group as per income expense uh -huh. and liability so here we have uh, assets and liability uh, fs item type so those fs items here we are uh, gl accounts we are mapping into fs items okay now this activity will be done by each individual entity right each in the, each uh, entity it won't be separate gl accounts right? it all the uh, entities in the gl accounts will be the same right in fi so generally you won't create a separate gl accounts for entity wise right no if uh, like last time we said that, that this is the the europe europe have the france germany and the switzerland so they must be using the gl accounts as per their local requirement as well say so they have created like uh, for the vat purpose right so vat purpose is the they might have 19 percent five percent zero percent so they might have created few more gl accounts as per their requirement yeah yeah, yeah. but in fs item we are taking as like the the group so on addition whatever they created their gl accounts so they that should be also mapping into the fs item right yes that means you are saying that a ledger right a leading ledger non-leading ledger one is for yeah, IFRS, yes. another yes. one is uh, i gap right so there yeah. may be uh, gl accounts may be different right few few gl yeah. accounts right few gl yeah yeah yeah, yeah. For local that gl account yes for lo local liquid those gl accounts again you are uh, changing here okay so you are mapping again okay that time we have to do you have to create two versions okay ledger is uh two uh, one is for i gap one is for ifrs okay yeah only first uh, while creating version now there uh, we have uh, uh, version then uh, physical air variant group currency then ledger then we have special periods, special versions, right? If you keep yeah. it special version as it is, no need to do again uh, uh, configuration for each and everything. Once if you change this FS item mapping, if you upload now, then just you have to again you have to do uploading data, data collection. If you do running task for individual I gap and IFRS, then you will get the reporting. So this GL account, right? Each year just uh... let one one GL account, uh, one FS item I filter. So this GL account did they saying that See, uh, for which entity? Entity it is not come a chart of account level. Okay, and it is not okay, uh, sub, so. separate uh, entity okay. wise. It a chart of account level. Okay. So their entity they have, must be using the local chart of account, but and the assigning with the group chart of account as well. No, no, no. This this, this one is uh, FI chart of accounts. This F, this chart of account Y one is our group reporting chart of account consolidation chart yeah. of account. Okay. This YCOA is FI chart of accounts. Okay. So all the entity right who had hmm. uh, assigned the YCOA, so only that data will come here. All that GL accounts. Correct. 
Correct, correct. Yes, so this report is not as per the NTT, it's report as per the, the chart of account YCOA. Correct. Generally, yeah. group reporting, we won't do individual, right, uh, company. So, uh, group reporting is for at a group level, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, if you see here, one FS item, we are mapped multiple GL accounts. Okay. Here, if you see here, trade and okay. no, trade. GV, we, we take on trade receivables and... I got my answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got the answer, yeah. That's the, the question I was asking, that if they created the five different GL account, but we can assign to the one FS item. This is Perfect. one method. Okay. SAP is assisted this one. Okay. Uh, if you want tomorrow, you can use the same GL accounts here also, one-to-one -one mapping. Or if you use group reporting also, same GLs, no? There is a no yeah. problem. You got it? Okay. Generally, while the, when <laughs> business is comparing data, FI and uh, group reporting data, okay. So, some users, uh, they won't find any issues because they are aware. So, we are mapped... Uh, so these GL accounts to this FS item, this G FS item is sum of these GL accounts data they can understand. Some users, they won't understand why this GL account have this much value, why this FS item have this much value, where it is gone, like that they may ask. Oh, okay. okay. That generally, yeah. that question, it will come. If you drill yeah. down this one, FS item with GL accounts, now again, you can see this GL account information. Okay. We have option while reports, no? If you drill down this uh, FS item, little bit down, you can see this GL account. Then again, each GL account value also you can see. Uh, then we'll come to this letter, okay? This FS item, this is a major, okay? Master data. Master data, yeah. So... Let me now you take it to only here. Assets and liabilities. Okay. These yeah. are the FS item with a description. We have this one is a breakdown category. Right side, this all the whatever is there, right? Column this we call it as attributes. FS item attributes. Okay. This and all attributes. Okay. You got it. Sorry, uh, attributes. FS attributes, item attributes. This uh, description. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. FS document type is one attribute. Breakdown category is one attribute. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Data collection is one attribute. Currency translation is one attribute. FS item. Okay. Elimination selection is one attribute. Cash flow selection is one attribute. Okay. Scope of selection is one attribute. Elimination okay. uh, uh, target is one attribute. Non controlling okay. interest is one attribute. Okay. So yeah. here we are defining <laughs> each and everything. So yeah. suppose I have. <laughs> Cash on hand, okay, cash on hand. I'm giving here, this is my FS item. This is the description. This is my uh, transaction type, uh, FS item type. This is my asset. This is my breakdown category, okay? Okay. So this breakdown category, if you go, no? See, 1B00, right? 1B00, yeah. See? That is if you select zero, zero. Yeah, cash and land one B zero zero. Okay. Basically this breakdown what it's a, what it know this is sub item. Okay, sub item. This breakdown will define again sub items. All uh, transaction type. Okay, transaction type. Okay, transaction type we are using for cash flow statement. Okay, okay so that transaction, transaction type? type 915 is for cash on hand. What is it? Based on this, now we can uh, preparing using this uh, transaction type. We are using uh, cash flow statement. Okay. Cash flow then ca for uh, transaction type breakdown category includes sub items. Sub types have two types. One is a transaction type. Another one is a functional. Okay, functional type, functional area. That means that all that functional type we are using for P&L account. Transaction type for balance sheet items. Okay. Then again, the, we have two categories. Category one, we are using for uh, balance sheet items. Category two, we are using for P&L account. This breakdown category. I, I will show you this one. One for balance sheet, second for profit and loss. Profit and loss. See, this breakdown category, okay, if you select this breakdown category 1B00, so period is acquisition of period is no breakdown, okay? Zero means no breakdown. Okay, if you select one optional breakdown, okay, whatever the initial value it will allow us. Okay, if you select two, is a required breakdown. But these are the required configuration we have to do. Yeah, yeah, yes. No, based on that, our breakdown. Okay, if if three selects no required breakdown, entry is forced. Okay, 
whatever you know the again if you have uh, validation substitutions if you put no by default it will come okay then four is required breakdown you have to enter this one required breakdown okay so 1b00 sub item category 3 is required okay so we have partner unit partner unit is required or not for 1b00 we kept blank okay if you keep blank also it will take okay then transaction currency is we kept blank that is optional unit of measure also optional sub item category is required category okay so that's why i put 3 okay so we kept fixed value is 1 this one so by default this is balance sheet item okay 1b00 is balance sheet asset right yeah this is asset so one is by default it will come this is fixed one category it will come one okay this is sub item 2 required break if blank default is blank okay this is category this is sub item okay acquisition year required no breakdown there is no break of this one if you see yeah. if you go any uh, p and l account so here see one more also one uh, wherever one one is there no one starting with one all those and all for balance sheet uh, breakdown categories so okay. uh, starting with one b zero zero two means that is a p and l account profit, okay profit. let me okay. yeah yeah 